guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, we have a totally different situation going on. Um, I am actually going to attempt to do my Married to Medicine Season 7, Episode 7 on my way home. Okay, that's what I'm, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> I need to get a mount for my, for my, um, for my truck because I'm not even going to tell you how I have, how I have my phone situated. Anyway, alright, so I wanted to get into, now mind you, I have no notes, I'm just going by memory from yesterday, and, um, yeah, hopefully I can, you know, get through the review. Okay, so, let's see, um, we're still with this whole Mariah does cope you know she's trying to basically prove her innocence um she did go and get tested and you know like I said in my last review she did the whole hair testing and all of that which is supposed to be I guess you know top notch testing I don't know anyway um so they had I guess what you would call the last dinner during this revival and all the ladies get together and they also did they go to dinner first or the church they went to dinner first yes okay so y'all please forgive me I, I really am going off of memory okay so they they had their dinner and um of course the conversation you know they guess they're going around the room talking Simone okay my either my first or my second review I talked about when Simone and Qua was supposed to be trying to talk and work things out and all of that and remember guys I said I said because you know the group was divided it was Jackie, Heavenly, Quad, and um, Contessa. And then you had Simone, Toya, and Mariah on the other side. Jackie and Simone, even though they weren't beefing with each other, but their relationship, their friendship was pretty strained. And it was because Simone was not getting along with Heavenly or Quad, right? So now, and because Jackie was hanging with them, naturally it would kind of cause some tension between her and Simone, okay? And they talked about that and um, they ended up, that's when they decided to, hey, let's have an intervention, let's meet up and with Heavenly and Mariah, see if we can squash this, you know, because. Even though people say they don't, they're not choosing size, you kind of do. When you start hanging with a certain group or a certain person more than your other friends, you are kind of sort of choosing size, okay? So all of that drama between Heavenly, Simone, Quad, whatever, caused tension between Jackie and Simone at some point. But they got that, they got it together. Okay, now... I said in either my first or my second review when Quad and Simone called themselves trying to, you know, meet up and talk, whatever. Well, Simone was. Quad was on a whole nother whatever. And I said, I said, okay, what if, what if they work it out? Let's just say they work it out, they become friends again. I was like, where does that leave Mariah? Because Mariah and Quad are like oil and water, okay? They just, it's just not happening. And I think Simone was hanging with Mariah and Toya by default because of how the group was split up. Because remember, Simone and Contessa, had, they had beef too at one point. So, I mean, everyone kind of had their own little, you know, spiff at one point. But I think that Simone kind of was with Mariah and Toya by default because everybody else was together. And I think that was part of why Simone was pushing it so hard 
to get back cool with with Quad. I don't think it was so much she really, really, really just wanted to be friends with Quad. I think it was because listen, I got to make amends. I gotta, you know, get this together because it's putting a strain on my other, you know, friendships. Anyway, so I was thinking back then. I was like, so where would that leave Mariah? You know, is Simone just going to dump Mariah and start hanging with Quad again? Or how are they going to work that out? And this episode, to me, kind of, I guess, answered that question in a way. Okay, so, in this episode, you saw Simone... I mean, Simone and Buffy shared a room, so you saw them together, but... As far as like sitting next to, conversing with, kind of standing around, some Simone seemed like she was more around Quad than she was with Mariah. Now, the last one we saw when Mariah, you know, had her meltdown, whatever. So I guess it was the next morning Simone went to her and was like, you know, how are you? Where are you right now in your headspace? Where are we right now? Like, are we cool? And Mariah was like, yeah, you know. Mariah was hesitant. And I don't know if it's because, like I said, she, Simone been hanging tough with, I don't say hanging tough. That's a little extreme. Simone been kind of like around quad more, right? And so, I don't know if Mariah saw that. But she, the way she responded, she was like, mm, you know, yeah, we all right. You know, we good. Excuse me, guys, with the yarning. <laughs> it's been a long day. I didn't get any sleep. Like, I literally got maybe three hours of sleep last night. I always, I washed my hair last night. I was out watching the news and TV with my husband. And he's on vacation this week, so he slept in. But I always do that on Sundays. I keep saying I need to go to bed early on Sunday. And every Sunday, I'm, man, the earliest I have been going to bed has been like 12, 1 o'clock. But last night, I could not. I just couldn't get any sleep. Anyway, I'm, listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Especially when I'm in, when I'm driving or whatever, y'all know when I get my reviews, it may I'm y'all. It's like I'm talking to y'all, like y'all sitting in my house or y'all riding with me. The conversation may switch up. Just so you know, for the newcomers, just so you know, it's just like you sitting here with me, y'all riding with me, and the conversation may shift a little bit. But let me bring it on back. Okay, so. Mariah was like, yeah, you know, you know, we good, we all right, you know, but you could tell she was hesitant, but she don't want to, you know, she already dealing with drama over here with Quad. She ain't trying to start stuff with Simone. Okay, so she was like, you know, it kind of put you in a, put you in the middle, put you in a bad spot. You know, Simone was like, yeah, I don't like this. You know, it is put me in the bad spot, whatever. Now, okay, let history show. Mariah and Qua, I mean, it's like everybody else around them can 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 have their little issues and beef or whatever, but everybody else always seems to make up and move along into the next argument or misunderstanding, miscommunication. Everybody knows for the most part Qua and Mariah is going to always just it is what it is. So, that's why I was like what is Simone going to do? How is she going to handle it if her and Quad become cool again? It's going to be very, very difficult, you know, because Quad and Mariah both kind of have this attitude, like, not that you can't be friends with anybody else, but more than likely, they're going to make you choose, okay? So, anyway... So, Simone was like, yeah, you know, I don't like it because cause I'm in the middle, you know. She agreed with Mariah. So, moving along, they, um, Mariah and Toya talked. And Mariah, at this point, she kind of seemed like she pepped up a little bit. Um, you know, she was like, it is what it is, you know. Um, she gonna be, you know, she gonna be cool, chill. You know, she gonna own her stuff, staying in her truth and whatever. She just gonna like finish out the trip. So they all they go out, they go to eat, and everything is cool. I mean, Mariah seems chill. 
The thing with Mariah and Quad, what I've noticed is when they're when everyone is together, they they are able to exist in this in the group together. They're able to be in the same at the same function, in the same room, at the same table. They're able to, you know, coexist without really addressing each other. You know, I can't remember if they greeted each other, like spoke. I think they do. But it's everybody else. Everybody else is, you know, like trying to interfere. My thing is this. Everybody in a circle, in a group, is not going to get along. You're going to always have one, two, maybe three people that just don't like somebody in the group. And that's okay as long as they are respectful, they're cordial, and they just keep their drama out. We, I literally can be in a group of five, six, seven people and not talk to at least one of them the whole time. I would greet them, you know, we greet each other, whatever, and that could be it. So it's possible, it can happen. And I feel like Quad and Mariah can, like, for example, um, let's see, I think when they were. When they had the mask on, when all of them had the mask, and Jackie told them to take it off, take the mask off, and Mariah, she was in good mood. She was like, you know, should we take off the earrings, the wigs, the makeup? Like, she was, you know, like, let me just, let me play nice, whatever. I think quality and smile. So, to me, if everybody leave it alone, leave them alone, stop trying to, you know, play fanny, fix it. Sometimes, say if one of them crack a joke, and it's funny, because I've been in this situation where I haven't really cared for a person, or we don't care for each other, and I say something funny, they say something funny, and the, and the other one laugh. You just, you never know. You just never know. I think with Mariah and Qua, it is not going to be a boom, instant fix. You you put them together, meeting one time, and boom. No. No, it's going to be gradual if it happens, and honestly, it may take, I think if them two got together, just the two of them, without cameras, without, you know, an audience or a mediator, I really think they, they could talk and work things out, I do, but anyway, okay, so, they're sitting down eating, you know, getting ready to eat, and, um, Mariah was cool. So here go Toya. Oh, I'm sorry. When I see the word cake, I think of Coke. Like, what? Because before that, Toya was like, and they was talking about the test results. And Toya was like, you know, you should show them, whatever. And um, Mariah was like, you know, nobody, like, they don't care. They don't care to know the truth. But, you know, she know how to, you know, deal with them accordingly whatever so anyway everybody was like you know why would you say that why would you bring that up whatever mariah didn't didn't go there mariah and quad neither one of them said anything and that's what i mean by it's everybody else's reaction and things they say yes what toya said was jacked up because she know what it was going to lead to however mariah didn't jump in and say why would you say that quad didn't say anything so everybody else should have just shut up just shut up. If the two people that this situation is applying to, if they're not bothered, if they're not saying anything, nobody else should be saying anything. Let it go. Okay. So next thing you know, Simone is getting all emotional and she's like, you know, y'all been friends or y'all known each other all these years and, you know, Basically, I can't remember what she said word for word, but basically this is a mess and, um, you know, you can't unsay words and then she's like getting emotional and tearing and I'm like, what is this? Simone, you wasn't like this between, with, with yours and Quad's situation. So why are you getting so emotional and where's all this coming from? with Mariah and Quad. 
So, you know, she's basically like, y'all need to work this out, whatever. And Kwa, Kwa, Kwa had this look like, bitch, she, it was so, it was funny. The way Kwa and Mariah was looking at Simone, like, everybody was looking at her like she was crazy. But Kwa expression had me rolling. She was looking like, what? Where, what? Where is this going? So, my thing Okay, so Simone gets up, and of course, everybody, you know, getting up. And she's like, no, I just need to get myself together. I'm going to the restroom. So, who goes? Y'all, excuse me with this, this, like, okay. I have to help my, I'm going to have to keep my hand up. So, who goes? Quad gets up and go. I think Katessa. Um, I'm not sure if Buffy, but I know Heavenly ended up going later on. <sighs> And Kwa was telling Simone, she's like, look, let, leave this, this is between me and Mariah. Let us deal with this. Let us, and I agree with that. Leave them alone. Because like I said, honestly, outside, aside from, you know, the whole butt went down at the reunion and talking about the coke and all of that, they actually are they they actually get along when they're in a situation like when I say get along but there's no drama it's other people so Kwan was like look leave it alone this is between me and Mariah let us deal with this you know and for real I think Simone I think Simone was feeling like eventually I'm going like okay even if Kwan and I become friends my beefs are not over because now I don't have to be beefing with Mariah because I'm hanging with Quad. You know what I mean? And my whole thing is this. Simone, you up here trying to be Fanny Fix It with Quad and Mariah and uh, Quad is Kim, honey. Your situation, your relationship with Quad is not, is not solid yet. Now, because every chance Quad get in her confessional, she's like, uh-uh, it ain't it ain't over. We need to work some things out. And she even said to you at um, Buffy's party, I think it was, when she said, you know, they greeted each other. Like, oh, you look cute. You know, you look whatever and ever. And when Simone was like, um, oh, this is a different energy. And Quad, oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Quad was basically like, yeah, well, you know, everything's cool, but you know, we'll talk later. Yeah, I need to get a, um, what you call them? A mount. But look, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with this. If I got to hold it. Okay, that look like that's gonna hold. Anyway, so, she, in the roundabout way, told Simone, like, you know, we good as far as, like, we can greet each other, hug, and make nice talk, but we still need to handle this. So, Simone, your situation with Quad is not 100% either. So, how about you work on your friendship with Quad and leave Mariah and Quad alone? Like, ugh. anyway, like I said, I think Simone has another motive as far as that's concerned. She knows soon she's going to be in the middle. Like, okay, now you're, you're beefing with Quad, you were, and now you you gonna end up beefing with Mariah. So that was that. In the meantime, so Heavenly is like, you know, she's all like, I don't want, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be in the middle of this. I don't want nothing to do with this. It's like got nothing to do with me and all this other stuff. And I'm like, Heavenly, now mind you, I, I missed this part, but when they were on the bus and Mariah, you know, was. Th Sam still talking about, you know, being accused or whatever. And her and Quad was going to make a fool. Heavenly jumping into it. I mean, just ready to fight. Then, which caused Toya to get into it. So now all of a sudden, Heavenly is like, nah, I'm, I'm not in this. I don't want to talk about it. Don't don't put me in with her dramatic ass stuff. Heavenly irritates me. So she gets up and goes to the restroom. So now it's Jackie, Toya, and Mariah. So at this point, Toya's like, you know, go ahead and show her. And Mariah seemed kind of hesitant, which I didn't really 
I, I don't know. I don't know if she wanted to show it to the whole group. I don't know why she was hesitant. Like, you went through all of this trouble to take this test. Why are you not trying to show it? So, Toya... So, Mariah gave Toya the test. She's presenting it to Jackie, but Jackie's like, nah. So, Toya was like, look, Mariah got tested. I think you should see... You should look at the test. And Jackie came with this whole... No, I'm not trying to be the judge and jury of Mariah in this whole situation. And Toya was like, no, it's not even about that. But I think you should, um, you know, you should look at it. Jackie wasn't having no parts of it. Like, she wouldn't even, she didn't even want to touch it. She didn't even want to hold it. Now, my thoughts on that is this, okay? First of all, yeah, I, I, I'm not feeling Jackie either. Here's my thing. Jackie claims that, she, you know, she the peacemaker. She wants everybody to get along. She's willing to extend all the branch and open arms and all this stuff with Mariah. Not saying they're going to be best friends, but she's willing to just put the drama behind them. So, the main drama between Mariah and Jackie right now is the fact that Jackie repeated and worded the allegation in a way that made it seem like it was true. You know, she made it seem like, well, what she said was, do you think Qua should have revealed or you think Qua should have talked about Mariah's drug use or whatever? You, you guys know. She didn't say, do you think, she worded it as if Mariah was using it and, and she was basically asking heavily, do you think Qua was wrong for even bringing it up not accusing her but do you do you think she was wrong for talking about it anyway so that's the beef between jackie and mariah right now okay so my thing is this yes you know they talked about it <clears throat> whatever but because that's the, that's the issue between y'all and for this girl to go out of her way to clear her name to me just to make her feel like I felt like if you really was trying to work things out with Mariah Jackie and I'm not saying be her best friend I'm saying just make peace just squash it just let her know that you are trying to have peace why would you not want to look at it I don't, that's, I don't understand that and to me to me I felt like Jackie didn't want to stick. Number one, they're not going to be pushing her to see it if it was, you know, bad. So, she could just tell by the fact that they want to show her that it, it would vindicate Mariah and show that she, according to the test, that she um, was not using drugs. I think Jackie didn't... Excuse me, y'all. I think Jackie didn't want to see it because when you think about it, it was just the three of them, Okay. Later on, let's say if it came up again, Jackie would kind of be in a position to defend Mariah. And when I say defend, I mean just speak on the test. Because don't think for one minute Mariah or Toya wouldn't say, well, Jackie saw the test. We showed her. Jackie, what did you say? You know, you see what I'm saying? It would kind of put her in a position to kind of sort of defend Mariah by admitting that she saw the test and by revealing what she saw in the test. And so inadvertently she would be kind of not siding like as far as in the eyes of the other ladies it would look like oh the three of y'all had a conversation and you saw the test like because think about it, Mariah wasn't showing anybody the test so yeah it would look some type of way like well why is she showing Jackie the test and now Jackie is speaking on it saying that y'all know how these women are y'all know how these women are and don't think for one minute that's not how they would think so Jackie no longer wanted to be in the middle of it because yes she know that they would call on her to to co-sign what the test said and she didn't want to do that she didn't want to do that so as long as she didn't see it she wouldn't have to that's that's 
how I look at it, which is messed up because to me that means Jackie, you're not interested in the truth. You're not interested in Mariah declaring her name. You're not interested in anything. You spoke out on something that you had no proof on. You went strictly by clause, you know, what she or on her word. And now that someone is presenting facts, well, results. Now I'm in the park, so I don't, you know, I don't want to deal with. It. I don't want to talk about it now. What? But you was quick to speak on it earlier, and um, watch what watch what happened live. She was on there, her and um, and Yana Van Zandt, and someone asked. Someone asked, um, someone called in, or yeah, and was like, why, or, or I don't know, and was like, why didn't you, why wouldn't you want to see the test? Because wouldn't that, you know, squash everything? And Jackie said, well, no, because as a, or maybe Andy asked that question, I'm not sure, but she was like, no, because as a physician, I would have to ask more questions, you know. And I just didn't want to deal with that anymore. I mean, I can understand she not wanting to deal with it anymore. I get all of that. But my thing is, this would have ended it all. Like, you can't... My thing is this. If I repeated something about someone and they were able to prove to me that what I repeated, what someone else told me was not true, by all means. By all means. Because I personally would not... I would feel so bad. At first, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even air that but I if someone is able to clear their name especially if something like this by all means but Jackie didn't care and, I, and to me that just goes to show the type of person she is Jackie is not this Miss Peacemaker Kumbaya no mm -mm. Jackie is messy she's messy too but anyway so with Andy she was like well I, you know, as a physician I would have to ask questions like um, when was this test taken? How how far did it go back? How detailed was it? She was saying all this stuff, and I'm like, all of that's in the report. If you bother to look, so you're telling me that she shows she'll show you a test test results, and you got all these questions. But where did you ask all of these questions when Quad told you what she saw, or did you just take her word for it? Like I'm trying to figure out. Somebody's showing you test results from a lab, and then you got all these questions. But before you ran with it and and announced it on your podcast like it was true, without asking any questions, you didn't ask Mariah any questions. Was it true, or you didn't ask her anything? So anyway, moving on. She didn't want to see it, and so Mariah was like, "It doesn't matter, you know, what proof I have or what I show. These women don't care. They they don't." Care. They don't want to see. It. They don't want to know. They don't care. Um, and Jackie was sitting there looking like she was a deer in hair. Like she looked stuck. Like, damn, because everybody was gone. So anyway, um, they leave and they go to the church at this point, or did they go back to the house to change? I can't remember. But they end up at the church. And, you know, what's supposed to be this spiritual moment, this this moment of clarity and reflection. So they go in. Mariah was still seemed like she was on, you know, in good spirits. And, and she was seeming like she was cool. I don't know if Mariah... I, I think, well, at the time, Mariah didn't have the test results. Remember, Aiden, she said Aiden faxed them or texted them to her. So, no, faxed them to her. So she didn't have them at first. So maybe, maybe because she had the test results, they're with her. I don't know, but her whole attitude had changed. She just seemed like she was good. You know, she was happy, giddy, whatever. So they go to church and, um, you know, walking around, and the, and the pastor was telling them about Martin Luther King and you know how all that got started. And that the church was where it got started. And so, they sat down. Jackie was like, you know, can you, can you say a few words? You know, say something to the ladies. And you could tell Jackie had already, it seemed like Jackie had already given him the spill. Because what he was saying was kind of 
uh, uh, amount of the say was what the women were dealing with, going through. So, Jackie, um, or was it the pastor, asked, could each, you know, everybody stand up and just say what they learned um, while being on this revival. So, Quad stands up. Quad is so dramatic. She is so dramatic. And because here's the thing. When Quad speaks and she goes into these whole, I want to say Cleopatra Juliet moment, you know, where she's like on Broadway or in a play or something. She's, you're under the impression like, wow, okay, she's getting deep. I, I think she's, she's feeling it. I think she's, you know, kind of, you know, come to the realization of what's going on and maybe she's shifting a little bit. But it's like, it just seems to me like Quad is acting. Half of the stuff she say doesn't even make sense when she calls herself being deep. So she says her little spell. Of course, everybody's kind of like rolling their eyes, like, "Oh God, here we go." Because y'all know Quad gets long-winded when she's having her little epiphanies. And oh, excuse me, y'all. Oh my God, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, and so Mariah stands up and apologizes to Jackie again, which I don't. I don't get. I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't know where that came from, but yeah, anyway, so that is pretty much, um, in a nutshell, what happened, the highlights to me, um, in this episode, and yeah, now next, next week episode look like it's going to be good, okay, with Quad and her party, and you know, shouting out her real friends and people leaving and Contessa. I don't want to. I want to discuss it, but I don't want to get too ahead because I want to discuss Contessa with her daddy, her father coming. A whole mess. Contessa, when she was talking about her girl crushes. I mean, we have some of us have girl crushes. I have girl crushes, and my husband know about them. My girl crushes are. Let's see, because I have a few. Christina Milian, I just think she is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Her, um, off the top of my head, it was Janet Jackson. And, God, I just drew a blank. Like Christina Milian is like top of the list. Rihanna, oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all. And my husband know, like we, I'm like, look, I, I, I'm a straight married woman, but honey, listen, yeah, I think Mariah, I'm Mariah. Oh my God, <laughs> Rihanna, Rihanna is so sexy to me. Like, I just think she is. You have people that are like, okay, Christina Milian, I think is beautiful. I think very pretty. I don't consider her sexy. Rihanna is sexy. Like, just every, her mood, her attitude, her presence, her walk, everything about her. So, those are my two top girl crushes. So, back on to Contessa. So, when Contessa was talking about her girl crushes and she was naming them, you know, I didn't, it was like, whatever. Because, I mean, a lot of women have girl crushes. Um, but, and I think I said this in my last review, Contessa gives me bisexual or just straight lesbian vibes she just does it seemed like contessa kind of and 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 i'm not yeah i'm not trying to be funny ignorant or whatever like just 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 follow me in my thoughts she just comes off as her like she went along because you know what you have people you have a lot of dl guys like this you know they go along with the picture perfect family you know i'm supposed to get my education my degrees my career marriage kids house white picket fence all of that you have people who in their mind i have to live this picture perfect life and then either 
they knew then and wasn't sure or they later realized that they liked the same sex you know Contessa I'm telling y'all she's so masculine to me she's she's very butch to me she she really is like her whole her mannerisms are very masculine very like Simone has masculine tendencies too she does but Contessa just gives me butch lesbian vibes she just does but anyway so when she was talking about it I wasn't shocked at all you know I wasn't shocked and I'm wondering like to me this whole situation with her and Scott and this this, this, this tension and this drama between them it's so it could be scripted I don't know because they really didn't have a storyline so it could be scripted or Contessa could just be not just simply not be fulfilled for, for many reasons you know and I'm not saying she's a lesbian and maybe that's I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know, I don't know. but she's always giving me I, she just you know she just gives me those vibes you know she does but anyway Natoya was talking about oh she experimented and she this and that you know I was like oh it's Holly Toya freaky and I'm like if I'm not mistaken I remember when Toya was talking Toya always talking about sex I remember a couple of seasons ago when Toya I don't know if it was her and Eugene or her and somebody else was talking about their sex life and she said she didn't give Eugene head and I'm like what that is listen I'm, I'm gonna say wife because girlfriends I mean to each his own but that is like wife 101 okay like who doesn't anyway but when she said to me that's a part of being that's like the that's like level one of, of freakiness if you want to say if you want to if you want to label it as freaky and when she said she didn't give him head i'm like well what kind well what's what are y'all doing like if you're not even doing that what are you doing because anything above that if you're if you're into things more freaky more kinky why would you not include that like how do you how do you jump like how do you in this analogy y'all stay with me how do you go from i don't want to get on a swing oh no uh -uh, i can't do a swing and go straight to bungee jumping you understand what I'm <laughs> you understand what i'm saying like how like how are you freaky and what are you into and you're not even trying to give your husband head. Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. What else What else is there? What else is there? What else are you doing other than dressing up and... I don't know. What else could there be? Dressing up, using, using toys. But to me, if you call yourself freaky and you're with your husband or you're whomever... Oh, we freaky. We get down. We do this and we do that. And you are not even giving head to me. That's like you just skip the swing. I'm not trying to get on those swings. I'm going straight to bungee jumping. But do y'all get it? Does that analogy work for y'all? It works for me. And I swear I just thought of that. I did. I swear. Anyway, so I don't even know how I got on that. What the hell was I even talking about before? I don't even know. I don't know how I got on swings bunch of jumping giving hit i don't know anyway so that is my review totally different than what i'm used to doing you guys because i used to have i usually have my notes where i can like kind of reference because a lot of times i'll forget what order something happened in but whatever i kind of like this because it's like i'm just i'm just talking i'm just going on memory this is like I'm talking to my friends about what the show and it's just a chit chat moment so I hope you guys like it if I can get my my phone situation you know straight um yeah because I don't want to be talking and the phone is falling or whatever but and I don't want to do I don't want to do I don't even think I can do like the 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 vent clips because my my vents are vertical and the way they are I guess I could do one of them I don't know I have to see but anyway guys that's it thank you so much for clicking on the video if 
you are a newbie, you have not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become part of the family and you get notified when I upload a video. Make sure you click the bell also for notifications. But again, thank you guys so much for hanging with me and until next time, take care.